Hello everybody, what is going on? I'm coming to you today on this very warm January day. It's about 65 degrees out. It's very odd that we get this kind of weather here this time of the year. But today we're in the garage. We're going to focus on the S2000. I'm going to go over what's been going on with it. Obviously it's winter, so it's been in storage. I'll show you what uh, it's doing. It's just sitting in my garage. I have it in storage. Uh, and I actually bought some parts for it that we're going to install today, even though I can't drive. Oh, I mean, I could. I I'm not driving the car because it's winter time, but I figured this is the best time to throw some parts on it while it's just sitting here. I've been trying to accumulate some things over the winter. I have some more to come. So let me just go ahead and show you what I bought. So I know it's a little cramped in here, but like I said, the car's been in storage since it is winter time. I went ahead and took the car cover off of it. Um, I was going to do a six month review video on it because it's been six months since I've had it now, but I'll just wait until springtime until it gets nice out until I can actually make a good video on it, but for now, this is where she sits in storage. Um, I bought the OEM car cover, I think I mentioned that previously, but it's just been under the car cover, hanging out. Uh, I start it up every now and then, just keep the battery charged, but let me go ahead and show you what I bought that we're going to be installing on it today. Alright, here's what we got. I have some StopTech rotors and brake pads. This is going to be for the front brake system on the car. Um, whatever's on the car now I don't believe is original. We're going to find out when I take it apart and see. But whatever's on it now just dusts like crazy and the brakes really aren't that good for more sporty driving. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace these. These are the StopTech uh, Sport Runners. There's the part number if you're interested in buying these. Um, they are directional. They are left and right specific. So this one is the left one or the other one. But I'm just going to show you this one. I'll take it out of the wrapper so you can see it. And then these are the stop tech street pads that will go along with it. Only doing the fronts because I think the backs are fine. I'm going to try to do my best to save what's on the car without damaging them too much when I pull it off. And then another little mod I wanted to do. Um, these are the clear corner, um, or not corner, clear uh, turn signal lenses that go on the front fenders of the car. These are from an 08 S2000 Club Racer. This is the Honda part number if anybody's interested in doing this to their car as well. And then here I have some Amber 194 bulbs that we will need to install since um, we will no longer have Amber lenses, we need Amber bulbs. And just for reference, these are the lenses in question that I'm talking about. Um, normal S2000s come with these Amber ones on the uh, front fenders, which I'm not too fond of. I think it kind of clashes with the red. It might look good on a different color car, but I'm just going to go ahead. I'm obviously going to save these two just in case I do decide to ever sell this car. I can throw it back on keep it original. And then those clear ones came on the 2008 S2000 Club Racer that came standard on that car. All right, so I know you can't see me, but before we begin, um, just a quick note. I'm going to go over some uh, tips that will make doing this job a lot easier. Uh, brakes on Hondas are really simple as long as you have the right tools and uh, this car is even easier just because there's really nothing going on in the front. A um, uh, thing I did, you don't have to do this, I, I know you can't see it, but I went ahead and put some rags around the master cylinder since we're going to be compressing the pistons and sending all the brake fluid back up to the master cylinder. We're going to be swapping this out too while we have the wheel off. It's really easy to get to, just pop a couple clips and screws off right here. Stick your arm in, it pops right out, very simple to do. And uh, yeah, like I said, this job's really easy to do so long as you have all the right tools. You don't necessarily need power tools, but uh, this can be easily done on the uh, floor of your garage like you see me doing here. And I'm not going to necessarily walk you through how to do the brakes. I'm just going to stop here and there just to point out some tips and tricks. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, so before we begin with the brakes, I just want to go over a couple tips on uh, Hondas and Acuras. Um, it's really easy to do brakes so long, like I said, so long as you have the right tools. Um, I'll share a tip to get the rotor off because I really want to try and save these without um, or I don't want to have to hit them with a hammer to get them off the car to shock them loose so I want to save these just in case I ever need them one day save the brake pads because honestly there's nothing wrong with them they just dust a lot uh, there's still a lot of pad material left the rotors are pretty thick I can imagine this car's never had a brake job done because it's uh, <laughs> only got 23,000 miles on it but before we start with the brakes I'm going to go over a couple of tips on that too we're going to start by taking the splash shield out over here and we're going to go ahead and change that light out real quick. But like I was saying with the brakes, I'll show this up close. If you look on the rotor, there's two open holes with, uh, or they're threaded open holes. And what you do to get the rotor off without beating on it with a hammer, you, I, I uh, probably should have looked up <laughs> what this was or what size this is. But you can find, I guess if anybody's doing this at home, you'll just have to match it up and see which one works, find something that works. Um, 
there's threaded holes and the point is so that you can take a bolt or fastener and thread it in and on the back side of the rotor uh, once you screw this fastener in it'll hit the hub then forcing the rotor off so there's two holes you can go back and forth between the two until the rotor comes off or walks off the hub by using this fastener to push against it and then another thing you'll have to watch when you do brakes on Hondas and Acura is they have these two screws in the rotors that's to screw them to the hub now sometimes these screws are really on there and uh, to get them off uh, I forgot what the name of this is but I think it's just an impact driver I think that's what it's called but I have a whole Matco set uh, I used this when I was a tech um, the only thing it does or I'm sorry it does tighten and loosen I didn't know that but uh, what it does is you put it on the screw like that and then the idea is you take a hammer and you hit the back of it and what it does is it shocks it loose then so you're able to get it off because if you just try to take a regular screwdriver you're just going to end up stripping it because they get really hot and they get stuck in there and they're really a pain to get off once they've been in there for a long time and it actually looks like these have never been taken off like I said I don't think this car's ever had a brake job I can still see the marks from the factory where they put the screws in and uh, made a mark showing that they're there so before we head on to the brakes we're going to go ahead take the splash shield off first swap that lens out all right so let's go uh, jump right in
And then most importantly, obviously, once you have uh, your brakes done, don't forget to go around and retort your leg nuts. Um, I believe on this car, I want to say it's 80 foot-pounds. I could be wrong. I know on most Hondas it's that, but that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. 80 foot-pounds should be plenty for this car. And then after I uh, do a brake job, it's always uh, good to get inside. It's always good practice to do this before you start moving. Uh, I always like to get in with the car off, and I go ahead and pump the brake pedal, because you're going to have a soft brake pedal, and if you just heard there, all the brake fluid went rushing down out of the master cylinder back towards the brake lines at the front. So I like to pump the brake until it's nice and firm with the car off, and then what I go ahead and do is start it up. give it some more pumps once it fires up. And then your pedal should be nice and hard if you've done everything correctly. All right, so I hope you all uh, enjoyed watching this video on doing a little bit of a brake upgrade, I suppose, on the S2000 and changing out those uh, lenses. I think they look really good. It uh, complements the red pretty nicely. Um, like I said, though, in the future, as soon as it uh, gets warm out, and as soon as we're out of winter storage, you can see back here, uh, I will be doing a review video on the S2000 since I've had it for six months. Unfortunately, it's just that time of the year is parked and I can't do anything about it. So what happens when you live in northeastern United States with winter here. But uh, I'm really looking forward to driving it again this spring. I can't wait, I'm over the cold. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. As always, uh, leave a comment below if you have one and any uh, suggestions as to what you'd like to see me do to either this car or the other two is always appreciated and I always like to hear what everyone else has to say. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.